Grand rising, beautiful souls. Grand rising. Grand rising. Ooh. And we breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. I breathe in and I breathe out. And I breathe in and I breathe out. <laughs> and I breathe in. And I read out. Woo! So I am here for a short moment in time. Welcome to this feel good sacred space of evolutionary elevation. Use like sensations, highest vibrations. I can feel it in my United Nations, for it's here that I am fueling celebration because I am on my elevation, and this has got me like, singing to myself. <laughs> and now sit here. In my kumbaya, kumbaya, kumbaya. And whatever. So, hi. Some people are asking me about my hands. I use them now in my oils that I make it myself. <laughs> I've been playing around with. Um, the mix that is really good for your hair and stuff like that but it's scents i don't care for personally so it's not anything i'm selling or anything like that i'm just sharing okay i'm sharing with you right so for me the mastering of it is the scent right because i play with scents to master my senses right 3d infusion of these vibrations and so what I've noticed from it, though, is my hair is glowing and glowing and super soft. And it's really good, but I mix it with other oils that I make that are separate from this concoction that I created. But I have yet to master the scent of that concoction. But I still use it <laughs> because it's just amazing <laughs> so that's that story with that so pretty much just what i create i'm just really high vibe on my cultivating energy that i have harvested harnessed wholesome these vibrations within myself right that i'm just so super mindful now of the alchemy that i even just touch. I don't want to touch just anything, anyone, everyone. Not that I ever did that. That was never any fun. Even though the field, the practice that I am in, that it involves like touch, body, you know, on a whole different kind of element. So you have seen me in my work zone space. It's a whole other person. I'm in my feast mode. You know, you meet silly enchantress. Okay, but beast mode is beast mode, and that's that zone, right? It's like tunnel vision, right? Because it's a whole different kind of space that you create. So, anyways, I'm just on my hoorah of a hara of a no raw, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? And so, um, Everything that I'm wearing is let me, you know, put together. <laughs> I'm not in I'm 
and stretching them because they are a little bit like acting like a jackass right now. <laughs> They're gonna be all swollen. Anywho, this is supposed to be really fun and short and sweet about everything. Okay, it's just fun storyline, okay. Um, because I haven't done I haven't used these cards in a long ass time, which is my sexual tarot strength. Here we go. Sexual tarot. So now you know strength. I'm about to be in Leo season. Mm -hmm. So there is a teaming. Ooh, of a beast, of a beast, of a chat, of a talk, of a, mmm, mmm, my darling, let's get away. What magnetic, 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 magnetic connection are we sharing? Look at this is a bird fountain. Four of cups here. Four, four, four. Building something more. Something's coming together. Something is coming together. Apply this multidimensionally. Take with it as it resonates. Remember, this is inner attainment for your entertainment. Take with it as you may. Hmm. Something is coming together. Maybe you're going somewhere. <laughs> A trip. A getaway. Something, or some kind of taming of some kind of thing that is being created. Divine masculine energies, divine feminine energies. Just like, <laughs> Ooh. so here we go. Naughty, 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 naughty. Naughty, naughty. Mm, so this cat travel. You ever see that with your animals? If you're a pet fur baby lover like I, and I'm not just talking domesticated pets, there is wildlife outside that I just love to engage with in every kind of way. But anyways, if you notice one of the gifts of our divine kitties is their ability to travel from space to space to space without any interruption. Kitty travels, kitty sees, and people know how to connect with kitty. But either way, as you can see, it's the same kitty in the same story. But it's different people. So, eh, 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 somebody's mad about this. About this. About what? What is somebody mad about? What you mad about? Somebody, oh, what you mad about? Oh, you mad about this connection? There's this connection. So let's not go with the mad about connection because what's really coming out is this connection. So let them be mad. Look at this. Let's do that again. And you who mad over there and look at this. <laughs> right? And this could be applied. Okay, because you know multi-dimensional is I. I know I speak sexual tarot and this could be applied in a relationship you see. But Multidimensional is you and it's me and it's a we. So the divine masculine and divine feminine energy existing inside, right, resides within your heart. You are unifying this DNA and you are getting along. Oh, you can smack your own ass in every kind of way because the sun hits it parade because that is wishes being granted. This is a happily ever after. This is a You've been doing the work that you need to do. Oh, sexy is you unified in every kind of way. And there might be more folks than I'm mad. Hey, blow on that. Hey, you. About what 
whatever this storyline is for you, whether it's a love story, whether it's your own personal love story with yourself, like, that's going to help. It's like, hmm, hmm, I've been working on this passion, this cornucopia kind of feel that is real for me. Mm -hmm. On your queen of pentacles, right? So there might be... <laughs> Okay, take it as it resonates. I might say he and she and me and I and who and my and me and no and no and not, right? But no. <laughs> Whatever it's going to be for you is the energy of the storyline of an align of a resonance that it's going to be for you. It doesn't mean that the exact details of the particulars need to take absolute precedence like what the fudge you got your own story and those are these cards too <sighs> right but hmm. you got a devotion i mean motion i mean like lovers uniting igniting the flames something's about to change something's coming their way a unification in some kind of way or that is what ah different storylines are coming through so that might be what two people want too you know what i mean and the frustration over here could be that it's all in the mind and it's not being activated here on the outside Side. It's like this is your life. This is all the things that can possibly be. You know this, you feel this, you see this, you know what I mean? But the devotion that this queen is required to have because Empress is she in this kind of land, one must activate that. If someone might be stuck here in La La Land, frustrated, and this cat is like, you know, I'm gonna say she because you know me, I'm a pet owner, you see, and I'm gonna go with the feminine energy having a pet, you see that travels and knows like my ebony, right? When I'm like, where you at? <laughs> where you be at? Come over here. Let me see. You know? So it could be that and you know, there's gonna always be those other kind of energies that will help you to put this nice on one, right? Passionate and bright. But what is that? I don't want a fucking knight, right? Oh, okay, king. <laughs> so it's like, all right, so this is like divine masculine. <laughs> I haven't spoken to you in a while. <laughs> it's like Boosties. <laughs> right? I mean, ooh, that's the energy. Ooh. Let's close this bit. <laughs> So, divine masculine awakening to a connection. I'm awakening to this connection. You might be in a little bit of frustration because this is all not yet here. But it's here. But it's not. The cat can see. Right? But this king, you're coming up as a king, right? A wand having to become the knight to go rescue on site. And it's not a rescue or a damsel in distress. It's a ego being put down to rest. It's a vulnerability you see that has to take place. You know what I mean? It's like, how do you want anything to ever be if you don't open up? You see, it's like you close the door and you hide away. So what is it? Let's go, let's put the mask away. It's like, okay, what does my heart have to say? Let's activate. Ooh. Ooh. Sage the space. May you have corners to do what must be done. Life can be so much more fun. Ah, but you see, I hate when this one comes up. And when I get this, me no lack of this. Because it's like, who's that in the background? And why are you in the energy field? 
Right? In this love mix business, look, something got to be said. You hear what I'm saying? Or a choice needs to be motherfucking made about something from yesterday from someone that's acting like they don't got feelings. Why are you acting like you don't got feelings? Come on, coming out of, look at justice is due. Oh, but there got to be a death, a transformation, too, for this king of pentacles to say the motherfucking too long, right? Because the emperor already showed up here, and the higher friend has the higher friend that's from here. But you know what I mean? And look, if so, someone might have to get, why do I say, get a little tipsy? I'm making up a song, but whatever it can be. If I'm masculine, you know what I mean? Have a little sippy, sippy, drink it, drink it. If you need to loosen, loosen up a little just to get yourself into the position of vulnerability. I'm not saying that that is the answer. You see, but it's just like seeing the uncle and it's like, no, don't try to get her drunk. You see, you be drunk on love. <sighs> the adrenaline of the unknown, right? Right? The choices, look at that's what the fear. It comes up about memories, my dear, right? It's just like, what would she do? What would she have here if I came to her with this proposition? You see, if I come down, I'm bending me. I hear the voice of men's like, I'm done. <laughs> Please, baby, don't go. I don't know the words I've heard in a long time. <laughs> but yeah, the old ten of pentacles. Look at all this you can have in the shine. But look at what's sitting away here. You got to be the whole, you see. But look at sun. Here, there's like a wish one of the Aquarius energy to write um full like energy. You gotta get out of this stuff of the swords. This is self so sabotage, like you're self so sabotaging something that is great that has the potential to be great. Look at this is the Empress. You see the Empress, you don't come to no fudging body, you stay in your fucking position, you stand in your ground like it's a magician who's hanging around, he's looking, he's trying to see. He got his wands, he got his tools, he got his divinations, you see right now he's just fucking watching and imagining the two wheels turning <sighs> but you got to put to rest the burden then undress because you want it like is that what you want look it is that what you want this could be even a pregnancy card this is like you know Right, we call it the phallus card and all this kind of stuff, but it doesn't necessarily have to be, but this is the sexual tarot. <laughs> so we're gonna go wham, wham. Right, but that's the baby making kind of position over here. But just that much. Like who you got in the mix thinking that they can watch this. Like that person has to be shut down. Because that energy, look at they're conjuring shit up and they're wishing not the best. Look at a tower at that has to happen because look at that person is not wishing the best for those two over here whatever those two over there yeah that's that's not good but look you gotta surrender right to the love right you gotta surrender to the love and then sometimes it's gonna hurt somebody else in the mix when you surrender to the love that is your fix. And this could be divine masculine, divine feminine energy. They're just thing inside of you because you know multi-dimensional is the way that I like to do. That's how I do. So like yes, we're talking about sexual tarot and all along the way, but you know I'm an evolutionist in that kind of way, activist in that kind of way, spiritualist in that kind of way, right? So I'm always gonna go with the divine masculine, divine feminine energies in me, right? But it's gonna go and it's gonna be like, oh, okay, I'm unifying all these things, I'm alchemizing all these things, I'm working on all these things around me fudge the exterior around me that got something to say about anything that I got going on and coming my way right no hold up you all can be over there and watching with your opinions and then go play with yourself with that but oh, I'm the magician of my own life and right I got this right king of pentacles king of wands right I'm here baby look at me look at me look at me look at me oh look at who just calling me <laughs> Hey, it's so good. Do the transformation. How to modify your necker. Right, I got inspired to do the sexual tarot because I was talking about it with this dear friend because, you know, I used to do these a lot, like, in 2018. Um, 2019, right? So if you're interested in, like, sexual tarot, the storylines and this kind of stuff that I do, um, there's a lot of them, like, those years. And I was just like, it's just a lot. And it was, like, so proper tarot and all that kind of stuff. So we were talking about that. And, like, it was just, like, on and popping at the time. And I had to take a break. I was like, yo, I don't know who stories all of these, but <laughs> I need a break. So 
I'm going to use right now. So that's sexual tarot, right? And I'm going to use the romance oracles, right? So it's just for some messaging before I start getting ready to go. I hope these messages were helpful and not entertaining for your entertainment, for your alchemy and all that kind of stuff. Here we go. Let your friends help you. Ask for help and accept support from others. Okay. What else? Ooh. Okay, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Okay, what else? Here we go, what else? All right, so release your ex, right? So maybe, you know, an ex could be a lot of things. It could be a mindset too, you know what I mean? It could be just the way that you thought something was supposed to be or what kind of way or your family, your old friends and all that kind of stuff. All right, the time has come to clear your fucking energy. All right, first do it, that's true. Um, what else? And what else? And what else? Clear your energy. You gotta clear your energy field just too. Because if you wanna move forward and you wanna have a new, then you wanna clear your past from you. That energy doesn't need to haunt you, be with you. It doesn't even need to carry, it doesn't even need to exist. That's like, you know, people are like, oh, I don't wanna, you know, memory boxes and all that stuff. Memory boxes are fucking like, or just witchcraft crap boxes and traps right so yeah like chemistry there's a strong magnetic attraction here who do you have a strong magnetic attraction with who are you feeling up on or liking from a distance in a way what is it that you have to say be a little bit more honest in that kind of way in regards to whatever look trust trust the situation is calling you for you to have faith okay chemistry and there's a strong magnetic attraction here but it's a toxic though what is it Come on, that's where I go. I like raw dog truth. If people think that I'm blunt with them, they gotta imagine, they gotta understand and understand who was that and know that I'm even harsher on myself. Okay. <laughs> True that. All right. So look at past life relationship. You have known each other before. Okay, we know this already. So well oh. no love. A new person has thirty romantic feelings. What you got going up in here? <laughs> like they're gonna be like three people here. Oh, I love you. No, I love you. No, I love you. Be with me. Be with me. No, be with me. <laughs> you might have chemistry with everybody. <laughs> so make sure. <laughs> Here we go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Bye. I thought you was working, calling me and stoning me. How many? <laughs> Your prayers, affirmations, visualizations to help bring you together. Ooh. <laughs> it is interesting. One time. One time. One time. It's interesting. Always pay attention to things that stand out in your evolutionary journey that, um, has it constantly evolved? Simple sentences, you never know how much they can transform your life. Simple as just, I wonder who it is you love. What's that supposed to mean? I said, I love you. I wonder who it is that you love. I said, I love you. I wonder who it is you love. And then look at three ways. <laughs> <laughs> healing family is just healing okay your love life benefits as you forgive okay calling in your soulmate your prayers affirmations visualizations right in regards to unrequited love okay so any kind of hang-ups you have in any kind of department let's start cleaning those energies out this right start clearing out all those failed relationships right let's not call it failed it's learning lessons right all the trauma all the abuse all the neglect all the the, the disappointments a lot of it is disappointments right and like, you're just disappointed like why you didn't show up the way i imagined you to show up rookies or like whatever free yourself from that okay it's time to just take back control of your life free yourself from all that unrequited shit right love yourself first but god i cannot Okay, your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Damn, motherfucking straight. That's how it be with me. All right? I have options. People are like, oh, you single and all the time. I have options. <laughs> I always have options.
options. Oh, very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now, right? Free yourself though, okay? It's time to take back control of your life, right? Be whole in you so that you can be a contributor to something even more greater. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now, but free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. No love. Oh my God. <laughs> no person has to do your romantic feelings because you deserve love. You are lovable. You are lovable. Right? So, what kind Ooh, what are you? <laughs> because you deserve love this situation of all men oh my god who's getting married <laughs> i want to go to a wedding i haven't got to a destination one listen i just gotta let me know when way in advance so i can do my schedule and, you know the way that i need to and express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture ah stay optimistic about your love life because positive thinking and faith will bring you romance <sighs> This could be so hard. <laughs> Divine masculine. Divine feminine. Nin, 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 nin. This could be the one. Who is it going to be? Oh my God, didn't I do one a couple of years back? Like, who is it going to be? All those ones that I used to do years ago, I never watched back because I wanted to delete, delete all of them. Me and Spirit have fun. Right. So now that I can watch back, oh my god, it's like so I already started putting stuff that um my ego had and my 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 stubbornness put on private that I'm being asked to release and people private. So this is like a couple years ago. Anyways, this could be one. You were reading that the one that's in your seat. I don't know, but something's ringing the bell. You can ring my bell. You can ring my bell. Someone's wearing a false self mask in this relationship. What? All right, this could be the one. All right, so it's right. So if the person is you've already met, then they're wearing a false mask now, acting like something else. You know, they're feeling some type of way. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You could read <laughs> Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment very soon. Clearly decide what you want so then it comes to you now. Do you even want that? Ask yourself, be real. Like people think that, you know, because you think that that's what you want, that that's what you want. Think about it. Like think about them like getting to like the top of a cliff to jump into the water and you're up finally high and you get to the edge of the cliff and you think about it right before the jumping off. It's like this moment of time from, am I going to do this? Am I going to jump? Is this for me? Like, do I do this? This adrenaline rush, this, this, this dive that I'm about to take, do I want to? And if it is, does this person reciprocate? Does this person contribute to my happiness? I don't need them to make me happy. Do they contribute with me to the things that I'm building? Do we have an affinity together that it works harmoniously? Or are we fighting? Are we, are we forcing shit? Are we up against everything in the world and all this kind of like victimized shit? A chaos, like, or are we really like solid? Like, I got you, you got me. This is something I want, this is something you want. Ah, okay, unity. That's some fake shit, you know what I mean? You know, people talking. Meanwhile, you know, talk to your partner. That's the person you really should be directing your energy towards because that's the person that's betraying you the most. Do you know what I'm saying? And so, like, you know, you want to be healthy, wealthy, filthy in all your relations, not just intimate, but first it starts with yourself. So before I could be anything for anybody else, I got to be that for myself. And that's just it. There's no way you're going to make me see that different. Because another person deserves my best. Because that's what they deserve. Whether they're a good person or not, if there's something that I'm going to invest in, 
or do something with or on, then you deserve me at my best to give you that because that's what you give me until proven otherwise. Something like that. Like, and you know, I'm not gonna pick it apart into details, but just, you know, if not, I'm not gonna be ruled by anything that's happened from before, then there's steps and levels and depth to my healing that need to be healed before I should even embark on another relationship. That's how you, people should be thinking. I don't need somebody to fucking come and fix me. If not, I'm gonna break them. Just the same way you don't deserve to be broken, you don't. You shouldn't have to subject somebody to your broken. There's professionals for that. You know? So, every soon. Retreat. Maybe going away too, you know what I mean? Get a few days. So things happen. Take a monthly break, go somewhere, even if it's a day skate. <laughs> Three escape, we can escape, two escape, three escape, four escape, woo hoo, five escape, woo hoo, woo hoo. Right? We treat heart to heart conversation. So, some kind of conversation gonna take place, right? So, in regards to stuff, certain kind of things, finance, finances, and career, there are gonna be some changes mm -hmm. very soon. The signs are here telling you that these things express your love, playfulness. Um, make the effort. All right, I'm going to end up their reconciliation, so maybe even somebody from the past that you haven't seen in a while, or somebody that wants to make some kind of reconciliation that has been separated from you for quite some time, that might need to converse, you know, and ooh, and maybe some other kind of converse, right, be the fool on this journey, because mm -hmm, drink from the nectar of the well of the stars that are yours, because mm -hmm, the night of love is here for you. Mm -hmm. And maybe then there's going to be people watching. People over there spectating. Oh, don't take it back, take it back, take it back, take it back. That's the spectator. Have some kinky fun. <laughs> While they spectating, have some kinky fun. We're like, mm -hmm. while y'all were talking, girl, we was having some fun. And even if you're um, by yourself and all that, have some fun, okay? Like, there is no bigger, greater pleasure than I to myself. You understand, understand, understand that? I give myself, and I help myself to find my own life, right? All right, I gotta go. Love and welcome me to each and every one of you, please. If you're into your own awakening, evolution, and all that kind of stuff, check back all my videos back from 2016 because there is a lot of evolutionary um, information there for you that can help guide you on your journey that was documented in mine. And there you can see a great significant growth into my own evolution of spiritual awakening that I shared openly while also channeling a lot of messages from this vine that is helpful to you on your journey at this time. So, you know, check back there. Also, you can um, check out and follow me on Instagram at Enchantress, E-N-C-H-A-N-T-R-E-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-
exactly when your order should be coming to your beautiful door. Okay, so either way, um, Utopian Mystique at Utopian Mystique is a private account. It will be that private for as long as I am divinely led, guided, and protected to do so in that kind of way. So that's Utopian Mystique, U T O P I A N M Y S T I Q U E. Also, me T Alchemy. But all of that can be found in Enchantress as well. And then, you know, I have my blog, enchantingbabble.blogspot.com. And then I update it and change my TikTok to Utopian Mystique 2. Eventually, I'll update the description box. You know how I be because I'd be done. You know what I mean? Today, I have a later night of um, stuff to do. That's just the way it is. You don't need to know anything more than that. And that's just that. So, um, that was fun. I maybe I'll start doing some more sexual tarot cards again, and also the erotica tarot. I used to have fun with those. And my oh, the Kipper deck, my um, soap popper tarot. Now those were a blast. But that used to be like, whoa, there was a lot of land that I want to travel into. Um, but I did, and it was fun, <laughs> and that's just how it be. So we want to move your body, get moving, you know, move. It's like me. <laughs> I have to do these things to myself because if not me, then who? Okay, but yeah, so 